what's good y'all and welcome to my review for Halloween Ends. And I just got back out of the internet and yo, I gotta say, this is my favorite out of this new modern Halloween trilogy, whatever you want to call it. I love this movie, man. I had so much fun with it, man. And yeah, I absolutely love this movie, man. And it was a fun time. It was a fun time. Man. But anyway, guys, let's just jump right now. Quick little preface I have to give this movie. The trailers did not show you the actual plot of the film. Because now, while yes, you do see Laurie and Michael Myers do have their duking, do have their face off, they have their last their last duel. That's not until the end of the movie. The actual like main plot of what the movie actually focuses on was completely cut out of the trailers. So there will be minor spoilers in this video just talking about the basic plot of the movie and what the most majority of the movie is if you do not want to know what the major what the base what the what the actual plot of the movie is you want to go into this movie completely blind leave the review now and come back when you've actually seen the movie if you don't mind that or if you've already seen it let's continue i'm not going to get into any major spoilers but just some minor stuff about the actual plot of the actual movie so with that let's just jump right in so the movie is directed by David Gordon Green and of course stars Jamie Lee Curtis, James Jude Courtney, Andy Machak, if I'm saying her name right, Kyle Richards, Rohan uh, Campbell, and many more. And the plot of Halloween Ends is four, ye four years after after, his la after her last encounter with the mass killer, Michael Myers, Laurie Strode is living with her granddaughter trying to find finish her memoir. Now, first thing you gotta say, obviously the cast is incredible. Jamie Lee Curtis is once again a standout. She is phenomenal in the movie. And... I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in previous reviews uh, for the for the last few Halloween for the last two Halloween movies, but I have always had a deep respect for Jamie Lee Curtis because even though she has since become like this major big time Hollywood actress, this major star in Hollywood, she has never forgotten her horror roots, and you can clearly tell she still has a huge soft spot for the Halloween movies and like the, and I would say the horror and job because. There's been other actors that have gone that have that started off in horror movies, have done horror movies that have since become big names, and they more or less, at least from what I've seen of it, I don't I don't know enough of these two of these actors. I don't pay attention enough to know for sure, but it kind of seems the fact that they just both kind of act like they like it never happened, like they never were in these horror movies um, before. But Jamie clearly never for, has never forgotten her horror roots and clearly has a huge love for the franchise and always gives 110 percent these movies whether it's the first one the sequel h2o and of course the new ones resurrections is the sole exception but can you blame her it was resurrections <laughs> so with that i'll be that's always something i've always had deep respect for jamie lee that she's never forgotten her horror roots and clearly has a lot of and clearly has a lot it's a huge soft spot for the halloween franchise and horror which is a nice thing because you guys know horror does not get the respect deserved outside of a handful of a few movies so that was so that's always nice to see man i love jamie lee curtis and i have such massive respect for her for you know all for you know not forgetting her horror roots anyway she's fantastic um Oh, Rohan Campbell, who plays Corey, who the movie predominantly focuses on because of some unfortunate events uh, that happened earlier on in his life. I thought he was fantastic, and I love the relationship between him and Lori's granddaughter. And that's kind of funny that, they, that this happened because if you guys remember in the in in my I'm pretty sure I mentioned in my review for Halloween 2018 that. The biggest problem I have, and the one thing that kind of kept it from topping the original horror, ha Halloween, which by the way, if you guys want to know this, I don't think Halloween ends is better than Halloween. I loved, I liked, I loved it, I liked it more than the and then Halloween 2018. But I would still say that I like the original Halloween still more. There was just something about that original Halloween movie that just keeps it on top of me. This movie was fantastic, but it it, it isn't as good. As Rachel Halloween, just wanted to say it right now because I know I've mentioned in my couple other videos like, oh, this comes so close to to, to topping the original, but this stopped, that this came, you know, in my last two reviews, but not 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 with this one, man, not with this one. I, while I was watching, I'm like, I love this is my favorite in the trilogy, but this definitely is not better than the original Halloween, in my personal opinion, anyway. So, anyway, as I was saying, uh, in my review of the 2018 Halloween. My biggest problem was the high school stuff between Lori's granddaughter and like whoever her boyfriend was at the time. And I thought that really hampered the movie and kind of like slowed it down, kind of kept it from topping the original, in my opinion. That has actually been completely flipped. Where this is one of my favorite parts of the movie is the relationship between Corey and Lori's granddaughter. I thought it was done really well. I love, I loved 
Corey as a character. I thought he was very sympathetic and from what from what we see of his past, man. And I just thought he was a great character, man. There's a lot of good stuff with him, and I love what the movie does with his character, man. I loved him. I thought Corey was great. was a great addition to the Hollywood franchise, and I thought he was a great character, man. I thought he was great. Um, the opening I also love, which I won't get into, which I won't get too deep into because obviously it's spoilers. But I love the opening in the movie. I love that it does a little callback to the original Halloween, where you guys remember the original Halloween, uh, um, Jamie and um, or Lori rather, and um, and um, and and um, Billy. If I remember correctly, was the kid's name? I, I might be slipping on the kid's name, but. They were watching The Thing from Another World, which you guys know was John Cop John Carpenter was a huge fan of that movie. And, and you know, he eventually remade it back in the, like, the AIDS with John Carpenter's The Thing. Well, in this movie, the kids are actually, the, the babysitter and the kid are watching John Carpenter's The Thing, which I just thought was cool. I just thought that was a really, really cool callback um, to, the, to the original movie. I just thought that, I just thought, that one, I thought that was cool. That was really, Tommy, that was his name. Tommy was the actual kid's name. But I thought that was really cool. I thought that was really cool. Um, there's also another callback in the in the final fight to the with, between Laurie and, Ma, and Michael that kind of calls back to the first movie, which I thought that was pretty cool. That one was really great as well, man. The opening credit sequence is ugh, chef, Chef's Kiss, man. One problem, if... One of, if not my favorite title sequence and opening credit sequence from the Halloween franchise where you have like the pumpkins or like zooming in on the pumpkins and pumpkins are coming out of the pumpkins. It looks really fucking cool. And John Carpenter's score. Oh, fantastic as always, man. Which, by the way, John Carpenter has been making a lot of noise recently that he wants to make a Dead Space movie. Give this man the fucking film rights, EA. What's the holdup? You have one of the greatest horror directors begging you, pleading that he wants to turn your game into a movie. The remake's coming out soon. Come on, bro. Look, think of the money. Get my man the film and let him do the soundtrack. Leave him the fuck alone. You have a. You will have one of the greatest. Not only will you have the best video game movie of all time, right in the palm of your hands. You will have one of the best horror movies, sci-fi horror movies in recent memory, coming to you right there, right? Come on. Look at all this money you're leaving on the table. Pick it up. Come on, man. Let's get John Carpenter the right, the film rights, man. Let him do his thing, man. I would be there day one, opening night. You will see me in the theater with my ass firmly planning the seat, man, to see John Carpenter's Dead Space. I would love to see him, man, because Dead Space is a great franchise. I love John Carpenter. You guys know how much I love his movies. And yeah, this is perfect. Just give him the film rights. Give it to him. Let him do the soundtrack. Just let him go crazy, man. Anyway, that's something I, I, I noticed he's been talking about that a little bit recently. Of course, there's a remake coming out. Bro, get on it, bro. Get on it. Let, 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 let this man go off with Dead Space, man. Let him do his thing, man. But anyway, John Carpenter's score is fantastic as always, man. Uh, the kills, I also thought were really good. I will say kill Halloween Kills definitely without has the best kills in this entire trilogy. And if you were and if you're expecting the movie to be as gory and as graphic and... Have as many kills as the original as Halloween kills. You will be disappointed. There is there are no there is definitely not nearly as many kills um, that there were in kills that there are in ends. But the kills we do get in the movie, there's a lot of really cool kills in, in this movie as well. But I would definitely say Halloween kills easily has the best kills out of this entire trilogy. Man. Probably that's one of my favorite kills in the entire franchise, honestly. Halloween kills had a lot of great because I really noticed when I went back and rewatched the movie last night, which I ended up not liking the movie as much as I did originally, but I still love Halloween kills. So that one, so that, so the kills, they're great. Obviously, the final duel between Laurie and Michael is phenomenal, man. One other thing I think this movie also does really well is that I feel like this movie has done the best job of really showing off the aftermath of Michael Myler, Myers' uh, car killings uh, and showing it off the best way how it affects the rest of Haddonfield. We've had other Halloween movies kind of talk about and show up the aftermath of what Michael Myers has done to the town. But I feel like this movie does it the best, especially with how Laurie is treated and how the rest of the town people view her. Um, as well as, of course, what's going as well as also what's going on with Corey. And I, I, for me personally, I just feel like this movie has done the best job of showing off the aftermath of Michael Myers' killings and uh, how it's affected Haddonfield. At least in my personal opinion. Now, in terms of problems I had with the movie is that first off this is probably the one that everyone's probably mentioned about 
Michael has very little screen time in this movie. Most of the time, he is very he he does not have a lot of screen time. Now, granted, when he, he does come make the present known, it's badass. He's awesome. I loved it when he finally you know we finally get the final duel one. But yeah, most of the time he's not in the movie. He's he like Laurie was still, like thrown to the sidelines of Halloween Kills. Michael is the one that definitely got thrown into the silence. He, I'm pretty sure Michael has even less scream time than even Lori did in Halloween Kills. It's actually kind of funny how much the, this new trilogy has mirrored the, the first three Michael Myers Halloween movies. You had the original Halloween and Halloween 2018, original, new, fresh take on the slasher genre, breath of fresh air, you know, you had all that. The sequel, not as good, and it makes up for its lack of originality and, and for a story with way gorier kills and Michael having a lot more screen time. Then the third one Mike, kind of goes back to basics, and Michael doesn't have nearly as much screen Now, granted, Halloween 4, Michael had a lot more screen time in that movie than he does in this movie, but y'all get my point. Especially if you've seen the movie, you really know what I mean when I'm comparing this to Halloween 4. So that was something I kind of fun that, that that was kind of funny that I noticed while I was watching the movie, and while I was on my way when I was making my way back to the to the dorms. But yeah, man, um, yeah, that's about all I can really say about this movie without getting into spoilers. There's a lot of great stuff in this movie, man. The kills are fantastic, man. Not as good as Halloween Kills, but there's a lot. There's some really cool creative kills, man. And I just had a blast with this movie, man. And I think if you were someone that was disappointed with Halloween Kills, I think you'll end up really enjoying Halloween Ends and probably have a lot much better time with it. Now, will you like it more than Halloween 2018? That's up to you. But me personally, I think I did. Now, granted, I haven't watched Halloween, the original uh, Halloween 2018 since I saw it in the theaters back in 2018, so I don't know if I went back and rewatched it, something that that would change. But yeah, man, I fucking love this movie. Also, one thing that was interesting about this movie that I noticed from the marketing that wasn't actually in the movie was, for, like I already mentioned before, they basically cut out the, the actual plot of the movie from the actual trailers and basically just only showed you the final duel between Lori and Michael, is that in the trailers, Lori, they go on with Lori saying, they're like, oh, she has to die for Michael to die. She never actually says that in the movie, unless I blinked and missed it. That well, but in fact, that was something she said in Halloween Kills. Now, when I went back and rewatched the movie, I saw it via the extended cut because HBO Max had the still had surprisingly still has H, still has Halloween Kills on HBO Max with the extended cut. So I watched it because I haven't seen the extended cut. I was like, oh, I'm gonna rewatch Halloween Kills before I see Hands. Let me watch the extended cut. And I don't know if that was in the theatrical cut or that was just, or that was also in the theatrical cut. And they just cut, then they just cut that stuff from the from from Kills and put in the trailer for Ends. That's something also that was kind of weird that they put that line there, which he never actually says in the actual movie, unless I blinked and missed it. But yeah, man, interesting marketing they, that Universal did for this movie. I guess I can kind of see why they did it, man. I wanted to keep most of the movie an actual secret and just show you the parts that you got, but. Yeah, man. Interesting marketing. Interesting marketing they did for this movie. But besides that, man, that's all I can really say about it. Without getting into spoilers, had a lot of fun with this movie. I love what they did with. The, I love what they did with um, Corey. I thought he was a great character, man. The final, the final duel between Laurie and Michael is fantastic, man. John Carpenter's score is amazing. The opening is fantastic. The kills are great, man. It's just a damn good time. If you love Halloween, man, I think you guys will end up having a lot of fun with Halloween ends. So anyway, overall, my final verdict for Halloween ends is going to be a ten. <laughs> Out of fucking 10, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, if you like it, links, links down in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.